Okay, so um, other things are going to affect the CFG, aren't they? So we've got mass and weight on the aircraft, one of which is fuel, and we've got in a basic um, short haul aircraft like this anyway, three tanks. So one in each wing and a center tank. And we've got quite a sophisticated system to make sure that it stays in balance. It will move around a little bit. And if you look on the right hand side there, you can see an example of an A330 where the CFG is moving a bit as we use fuel, but it's staying well within the envelope. Now, some aircraft can have fuel tanks way out back. This is not a new thing, been around in aircraft for a long time. Old airliners like the VC-10, for example, had it. But Airbus have looked into it and played with it along uh, in the years. Boeing, not so much. Boeing have never been quite so keen on it, but some of the long range Airbus aircraft like the A330, the 300, the 310, 300, things like that, have an extra tank at the back, which is known as a trim tank. It could be in the fin or more commonly in the horizontal stabilizer. And some of these are very big indeed. Uh, the 747 has a, a trim tank, for example, which is very large, seldom used though. Anyway, the idea behind that is that you can send fuel or have fuel in that trim tank at the back. Um, and then you can decide to move it forward, effectively changing the CFG of your aircraft in order to get fuel savings or get greater stability, depending on what you want in what phase of flight. So the Airbus aircraft have this thing called a CGCC. It's called a center of gravity control computer. And one of these aircraft, I can't remember which one it was, but the, the story goes, um, I read it in airliners.net, so it much, must be true, that uh, a chap was going for his Airbus rating on this aircraft that had a trim tank. And the lecturer was talking about this sophisticated system and when to use it and what to do with it. And this chap was thinking, okay, fine, this, this sounds all right, but what happens if the fuel gets stuck in the trim tank and I'm using fuel in the other tanks and so I'm creating an ever worsening RCFG situation. That's going to be a bit of a problem for the approach and landing because it's going to reduce the stability. So he put his hand up and asked the question and apparently the Airbus person said, oh, you don't need to worry about that. We've done the computer modeling and this will never happen. Well, you can guess uh, that Jack went on to fly this aircraft and it did actually happen to him. And there was no way of moving this fuel forward. Something went wrong in the system and they couldn't even vent the fuel, but they had a warning in the cockpit telling them that the CFG was getting ever more aft and they had to do an emergency landing. It was okay, they got away with it. So there you go. The story then goes that he went back the next time <clears throat> and he said, well, you know what, this did happen to me. And the lecturer is supposed to have said, um, well, because it's happened once, it'll never happen again, so don't worry about it. So anyway, whether that's true or not, the fact is there is a potential problem with these, and this does appear in the 2020 LOs. So that's the trim tank then at the bottom there. That's what it does, enables control of the aircraft CMG position. And the disadvantages, well, firstly, look, it's complicated. <clears throat> High development installation costs, you need all the computer stuff and the pumps and, you know, it's, it's a lot of extra um, material development, et cetera, in an aircraft. Now, Boeing, as I say, have never really got in for this, um, but they're more modern aircraft. I think it's the Dreamliner can actually change the shape of its wing in order to achieve the same thing in terms of stability and move the center of pressure around and the center of gravity around. Um, so they haven't really gone for the trim tank thing. But the biggest problem with this potential problem is that you get fuel trapped in it due to an equipment malfunction. And then the stability of your aircraft is just going to reduce and reduce and reduce. Funny enough, older systems like the VC-10, for example, if you ran into that issue, you could just vent the fuel. There was a way of just kicking it out of the trim tank, but because that could never happen because it's computer controlled, um, that was never put into the Airbus systems. Anyway, we'll see what happens in the future. It seems to have gone out of favor a little bit, but it is in the LOs now for 2020.